Well, the late Malcolm Poindexter Jr. was an Eyewitness News pioneer with a career that spanned more than 50 years, but his reach extends far beyond news. As Sherry Gregg from our sister station, KYW News Radio explains, it's that part of his legacy that will be recognized this weekend. Malcolm Poindexter Jr. was a newsman's newsman. Nevertheless, the union represents... His career began in newspapers, then on to KYW News Radio, and finally to KYW TV, where he worked for more than three decades. So far, no arrests. But news was his day job. His love was music. I don't, I don't know, know why, why I, I just do. do. He thought he was a singer, but he was not a singer. David Poindexter is the oldest of Malcolm's three children. The elder Poindexter was the son of a baritone father and pianist mother. It birthed a love for opera music and later a passion. At nighttime, he would take off his jacket and he would sit in his office and he would work on nothing but opera. Malcolm Poindexter III says his dad worked with Opera Ebony in New York and later co-founded Opera North in Philadelphia, bringing shows like Porgy and Bess and Aida to underserved communities. He saw something in me that he felt uh, needed to be shared with the world at large. Soprano Iris Fairfax says Malcolm launched her early career. Now she helps run Opera North Incorporated with executive director Leslie Burrs, giving singers and composers of color opportunity. It's not just opportunities for us to perform, it's opportunities for the audiences to hear this wealth of talent. On Saturday, Opera North will honor Malcolm's legacy by presenting a plaque to his family, and then soon they'll plant the seed for an emerging artist scholarship that will bear his name. The one day performance will be a culmination of a 41 year legacy. He'd be very thankful and appreciative and couldn't wait to to be a part of it. A legacy his family hosts will continue for many, many years to come. Cherry Gregg, KW News Radio for CBS3 Eyewitness News. Special mm -hmm. man right there, one yeah. of my broadcasting heroes, no Absolutely. doubt about it. When I got the chance to come back home and work with him, mm -hmm. I was like, because we oh, went to the I same bet. church as a, as a child, Camp from mm -hmm. Memorial United Methodist Church, yeah. and just to work with Malcolm Poindexter and learn from him. Yeah. Unbelievable, beautiful it's family. An honor. Beautiful family.